Hey everybody, it's Rara, and welcome to the next episode of Satisfactory. In the last one, we did stuff with our oil. We made all of this. We started turning the oil into plastic and rubber, and then disposing of the heavy oil residue by turning it into petroleum coke. And then just dumping the petroleum coke. Oh, I'm silly. I didn't realize that over here on this build we actually needed to use a Mark III belt. I'm, I'm a silly. Let's upgrade that real quick, why don't we? Because we don't want these to clog. Yeah, we'll do the same thing for the other side. Because this one's got 90 a minute. This one's got 120. And that's 210. I don't know why. I, I guess I was pretty tired in the last one. I just didn't realize that that wouldn't work. Oh, we've got one printable coupon now. Yay! But yeah, I have the fog on right now. We haven't had this on since episode one. L look at this game. Man. I don't... <laughs> why is it so foggy? <laughs> why did they think this is a good idea? I can barely see what's over there. Here is the world with fog turned on. And here's the world with fog turned off. Oh my god, everything is visible. It's so clear. I love it. What are you doing here? I don't got the energy to go get them. The water looks so realistic. Oh my god. I don't know if they've been like regularly updating the water, but I don't remember it looking this good in update 3. Maybe it has been. Maybe they've just been like updating it over time. But like, damn. Man's just creeping, man. What are you doing? I've learned not to question them. But yeah, after last video, we our consumption has gone way, way up. Because like I said, that whole build was what, like 460-ish megawatts of power to run. So that's not super cool for us. However, it should stop once our once our plastic and rubber both get full. We are producing 100 a minute of each, so it shouldn't be too, too long. If we do some quick maths here, then we do eight times six for 48 squares, or you can, you can just remember that a large storage has this 48 storage slots. I don't remember these things because I'm silly. And then we do 200 times 48. Oh, actually, you know what? I, instead of doing like all this uh, other kinds of complicated math, I just thought to ourselves like, well, you know, it's 200 a stack. So we make half a stack a minute. So then we just multiply, you know, 100 times double the amount of the spaces. So it ends up being one, it, it, it ends up being 96 minutes, I'm pretty sure. Since in two minutes we make one stack and there's 48 uh, stacks that we need to fill. Yeah, two times 48, 96 minutes. So a little over in an hour and a half and we'll be good to go. But anyways, we've got that whole setup going now. So what's next? Well, I think at the end of the last episode, I said that I was going to get started working on computers and building manufacturers. I don't know how much of that is true. I guess I'll have to figure it out. Yeah, I want, <laughs> I want this. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go for this next, I think. We've got two of these automated, and I'm gonna make the 50 HMS by hand, so that's not even a thing. And then we need 100 computers, so I want to get a computer build going if we can. And you know, we're at kind of a weird junction, a crossroads, if you will, in this Let's Play. Where in order to go to the next, you know, tier of building and work with manufacturers and do all these like more complicated recipes, I'm probably going to want, you know, slightly more efficient recipes. And by that I mean alternate recipes. So, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Is this episode going to be another adventure episode? We haven't had an adventure episode in a good while now, so I think, um, yeah. I think in order to take that extra mile, we probably should, probably should do some adventuring. And honestly, I considered waiting for the jetpack until we go on our next adventure, and as well as the gas mask, but I don't know if we need these. I mean, the only thing that really stopped us from doing some stuff last time was the fact that we couldn't, you know, blow up explosive rocks, so we couldn't access some areas, some cool stuff. But yeah, now with explosives, we can kill a lot more things more efficiently, and... I mean, we've got the parachute, so we can jump from high places and make it down, the Blade Runners. I feel like this next adventure should go a lot better for us. That being said, I'm definitely going to want a bit more TNT, so I'm going to I'm gonna make a couple stacks if I can. So we just take all this black powder, and then we go get some pipes, and we combine them into something beautiful. Hey, little R, what do you have for us today? Oh, I just parachuted right on out. <laughs> I was trying to, like, fall on top of them. Listen, if you keep bringing me rewards like that, we're gonna have an issue. I might need to make an example of a lizard doggo, if you know what I'm saying. That could have been you, buddy. Oh, and you know what? <laughs> you know what I just realized? We don't actually have to keep him in, like, this walled thing for now. We don't have all the things for my plans with him. 
We could replace these walls with the glass wall so we can actually see him. We'd have to do this carefully, though. Wait, delete that. And then get out the full frame window. Wait. No, they don't want to place, like, on the wall. It's because I added the, the foundations right there. It's not working properly. There we go. Ah, that's right. This is gonna be your future, buddy. Yeah, there we go. Now you're in a glass prison so we can see you. Hello there, friend. He has never had a single thought in his life. But yeah, I'm gonna craft my explosives and then we're going out on an adventure. Oh, I forgot these things actually stack in stacks of 50. So we're kind of out of inventory space right now. That's okay, we can delete, um, I don't know, some of these quartz crystals and silica that we haven't really used in a hot minute. Why do we have one AI limiter? It's pretty easy for us to make these, you know, by hand, so I don't think we want just the one taking up space. In fact, I should empty off a lot of these things that we're not using and get my, get my inventory ready to just bring shit back. Okay, so I've made 150 Nobilis, I think, <laughs> I think we'll be fine. Now I'm gonna go and empty my inventory and try to get it ready for adventure. So over here in my extra chest, we're just gonna put away the things that we don't need. I'm not gonna be not gonna be using the zip line or any of these things on the adventure. Okay, looking good. That's probably all we need to carry things back. Got lots of materials for these things. I'm gonna get more Mark I sheets and more concrete for building stuff, you know, like ramps, and then we'll be on our way. Okay, but where, oh, where are we going? I don't know. Wherever, wherever duty calls, I suppose. It seems like we're kind of at the edge of the map here if we keep going that way. I want to go, I want to go over the mountain again and see what lies over there. I feel like most of the world is kind of like on that side of these cliffs. Because our base is over here, you know, in like the, this corner of the map. And then like there's a mountain right here. And then there's the rest of the entire map all the way over here, like all this content that we haven't been to. So we've kind of chosen a weird secluded spot on the map. Oh, I'll tour a little lonesome here. Oh, now I can really threaten these guys. No, wait. Oh, darn it. <laughs> yeah, once you throw a Nobilis, you can't pick it back up, so... You just gotta... Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do, I forgot the controls. You uh, yeah, ought to reload. And then right click to detonate all your novelists. So if you wanted to make a huge explosion with like hundreds of novelists on some creature or something, you can definitely do that by piling them up and then just exploding them all at the same time. It's pretty neat. Oh god, even with even even with the uh, the blade runners, I don't like running up this. I still get nervous that I'm gonna fall off every time. And maybe it's a little worse with them too, since the blade runners make you so much faster, more agile. I feel like we're just gonna slip and mess up. So we've already gotten this hard drive over here. But I wanna explore over on this side of the world and see what hard drives you can't get over here. Heck, maybe even let's go this way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna zoom. I don't even care. The world can't stop me. Not with my explosives in hand. Oh shit! Oh god, big boy, he scared me. I don't like you. Hey friend. Hey, friend, line up, line up the shot, and boom. Oh, ooh, we cross over with another hog. Gotta need, need more than one to get him. Oh, okay, can we lead him over here? Ow, we certainly can. Oh, nice, nice. We got him with both, I think. Okay, right, let's, let's get the little guy. Ah! <laughs> oh, we got a two for one. Nice. There was another one, though. Oh, there he is. This is a small boy. Right, walk over it. Oh, do a flip! He did a flip! Where, where's this carcass thing at? Oh, oh, nice, we got him right here, I suppose. All these hog remains, thank you. As you can see, TNT is pretty effective. Just gotta aim, which isn't too hard. I have shown this area before, but like from that angle, but yeah, these are the giant like crater lakes, as I like to call them, where I have like... 50 water extractors on my main save, and I'm just using up all this water. Which I thought, like, this is a pretty big body of water until I saw the current, like, lake? River? I don't know which- I think it's a lake that we're using on this save. But I just wanted to show off one of Satisfactor's many beautiful locations. Ooh. Oh, that's definitely a hard drive that we haven't gotten before. Okay. Okay. We got this. Hey there, friend! Howdy doody! There's lots of, um... How far can we throw these? 
Damn, okay. Pioneer got an arm. Oh, shit. Oh, I got rid of the tree, but now everybody's out to kill me. Oh, boy. Well, you know what? We actually prepared for this. We have our boom box. Gotta turn it on. And then uh, we're ready for turbo base. Come on, bitches. Oh, shit. Uh, we got this. Oh. Wait for them to spawn the next wave, too. Ugh. And now we get out our stick. Our, our beating stick. Yeah, boy. Oh, God. Ugh. Get over here. Mmm. Oh, shit, there was another one. I didn't even see you. Ah. Yeah, I've never been more efficient in my killing. <laughs> he said, almost dying. <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that that time. I just meant to turn it off. Turn it off. I watched a video by the Rad Brad like 12 years ago, something like that, where he was like, when you're 21 and your voice still cracks. And I was just like, I've been thinking about that, you know, being 24 now. And I think that just happens until you die. You know, because like when you're a teenager and stuff, everybody makes fun of you when your voice starts cracking. And you, you just, you, you dog on each other every time it happens. At least, like, boys do that. <laughs> you know, like, boy culture is like, oh, your voice cracked, oh, you're a fucking loser, low mouth, get fucked. Those were not computers, I picked up circuit boards, but okay, game. But yeah, I've just been thinking about that since I was like, <laughs> since I was like 10, 11 years old. I was like, man, Rad Brad's voice still cracks at 21? Well, that's wild, man, that's wacky. But then I'm over here, my voice cracks basically every single day of my life, so... Like, I can't remember a single day that's passed where my voice hasn't cracked. So I don't know, I guess I'm just, I don't know the science behind it or how it happens and how it works throughout your life, but I'm gonna be 80 and it'll still be happening. Anyways, all we need for this apparently is uh, some encased industrial beam, so let's just yoink it open. Grab our reward. These are the main thing of today's trip. Power slugs are going to be the secondary thing. We have like 16, but I'm very quickly noticing how we're going to be needing a lot more in the future. So yeah, I would like to find some of those as well. But anyways, where do we go from here? Not in the direction of the poison stuff, maybe around it though, because it looks like a beautiful Sakura tree forest in that direction. So yeah, let's try to go around. We do need to mind our health though. Here, let's, let's eat some berries. Munch, 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 munch. We just picked these up, but that's okay. We'll eat the nuts next, but we want to use nuts to make a nutritional inhalers. You know, with that one recipe. So I feel like berries should just be the thing that we eat. You know, for now, until we just have tons of inhalers that we can use for exploration. Oh, I hear a thing. I hear a power slug. I also hear enemies that want to kill me. Oh, oh, there's the enemy that wants to kill me. Uh-huh. You don't like explosives, do you? Well, I do, and I like them on your face. Oh, <laughs> watch out for that. Watch for them to, to zap who's into you. Oh, what's in this dark, ominous cave? Let's eat some berries, I'm scared. Oh, it's in a wall we can break with explosives. Nice, nice. Yeah, these really open up the world for you once you unlock them. Huh, uh. Well, that's satisfying. What about the other half? Uh, yeet! Oh, oh, nice. It's almost like this where it's like, yeah, we're clearly in a video game here, but that was so cool and fulfilling. Are these really not going to unload? Do I have to like blow them up again or something? <laughs> I didn't realize you could just spam this. It's so good. Oh god. Lots of poison. Can we blow up the poison rocks with this? I don't remember if we can. I feel like we might be able to. Let's find out. Oh, we can. Nice. Screw poisonous rocks now. We can deal with that, and there's a yellow power slug. Uh, uh, got he. Did you want some too? I could get addicted to this. I mean, who doesn't love blowing shit up? A sociopath, that's who. Darn it, we need a direct line of connection to the power slug, because you gotta, like, hold it. It doesn't just count. It doesn't count if you just tap it. The bar won't go, so you have to build up to it. Well, that's not very hard. Yay, already starting off with a yellow. And hopefully we'll be able to a lot more easily get purple ones this time. It, it, purple seemed quite rare on our last venture. Oh wait, another breakable wall on this side. What's over here? 
Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I guess it's just another exit to the- or entrance to the same, like, area. It takes a while for these to despawn. Oh, oh, but there they go. They're just fading into nothingness. Love that for them. Oh, we got, like, bits of the northern forest over here. Weren't we getting chased around something like this area with that one radiated hog or something? I don't know. That journey was a bit of a nightmare, but we got all the things we wanted, and it was pretty successful in the end. Anyways, let's go back into the cave here, and then come out this side and kill the big spitter. Oh. Oh, yeah. We're in, like, dangerous territory. Hey, friend! Hey, friend! Oh, okay, comboed him. Get comboed. Oh, oh! Oh, shit. Oh, you're not so bad. Yeah, you're not so bad. Three for the big guy, huh? One for the little guys. Nice. We got this. Hey? Hey? Oh, oh! Oh, get dodged. Literally get dodged on. I just- I love spamming this. It feels more powerful when you press it more many times. More many times. I- I'm- I am a grammatical genius. Don't worry about it. But that's the thing. I- I don't like when people dog on somebody for not being good at the, the English, uh, language. The English language is fucking hard, okay? Even a native English speaker like myself still doesn't have a complete mastery of it because the brain, the brain is weird and it doesn't always say the things that you want. Like even if you, even if you have like a really vast, expansive vocabulary and you know so many ways to say so many different phrases and expressions and, you know, words in general. Sometimes your brain is just like, so I'm just gonna fill in every other word with so like an um, and you're gonna deal with it. And But I'm like, no, but I know all these beautiful, elegant words that I could help to, you know, have a more nuanced conversation and, and to not seem like I don't know words. But the brain's like, no, no, you don't. Oh, is there gonna be a purple in here? I got, I'm gonna explode through all these rocks and I'm hoping for a purple. Y'all get what I mean, though? Maybe it's just like when you're recording a video, but I definitely, I definitely feel like when I'm recording, I don't, I just, my words become so simple. I return to monk. Oh, it's a summer sloop. What the fuck? What, what is the point of getting a summer sloop? Why, why, why game? I'm just drowning in rock debris. No, I'm stuck. Hey, fuck. No. Okay. Oh, nice. Just despawn, you rock chunks. Gosh dang it. We've already gone through like 30 of our TNT and I'm starting to think maybe this wasn't enough. Oh, but there's another another crash ship over there, another hard drive. I think we couldn't get that one last time because we needed it in case beams or something like that. We've definitely been through this area, I think. I guess all that's in here is the summer sloop? Alright. Uh, <laughs> I don't like scary, you know, reading your thoughts, Ada. It's not, it's not a good look for her. She's a queen who can do better. I'm just going to load the place up with TNT. That wasn't a very good throw. I should have held it out longer. Oh, hey. Okay, you want to die early? Okay, okay. I had bigger plans for y'all, but he wants to die early. How did that not kill the pod? Can they not be killed with TNT? I don't know. I'm going to stick one right on it. Oh, no, I can. Ah, 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 stop spawning little dudes. I'm getting murdered. Though I suppose that is their goal, and they don't care about my well-being. In fact, you might say they don't... They don't want me to have a well-being anymore. Oh, speaking of, like, the English language and, like, other languages and stuff, um, I'm actually receiving comments in... What I believe is Bulgarian? And, like, Russian? I don't know, Google... I'm just following what Google Translate is saying. But, like, I didn't realize that anybody... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know there's lots of bilingual people out there, but it's just like, you know, go the Russian viewers, I suppose. Like, thank you, they thank everybody for watching these videos. And I'm just surprised. I'm just surprised that non-English speakers find, or at least non-native speakers find any enjoyment in my vids. At least I, th I think they're not spam. A lot of the times when I get comments on the videos that are in other languages, it, it can be spam. But I haven't really gotten any spam messages on this Let's Play series, and when I translated them, they were like, I, I watched the video and like excellent nice you know nice video and that makes me believe that these these are genuine like Russian slash Bulgarian viewers who like what I'm doing but I just I just happen to wonder like do they even know what I'm saying or like is do they do they speak English at the very least can they understand English I think I think language is kind of interesting because you can understand a language but not be able to speak it 
and kind of kind of vice versa you know i feel like the the other one you know be, being able to speak it but not understand it is a little little more rare i don't know are you bilingual what's your experience with this let me know in the comments all i'm saying is i appreciate my russian and bulgarian viewers now how do we get this hard drive oh oh we just need some pipes easy that's hard drive number two we've already doubled our uh, hard drive count or what, what's it called you know our alternative recipe and our first two alternative recipes we got were pretty pretty lucky i think pretty good ones let's let's heal up using uh some of the berries right right we're using berries to heal and berries are plentiful so we just yep there we go i'm hearing sounds that i don't like oh oh my god oh my god it's a giant spider <laughs> please god no oh my god it jumps so far no! Fuck off! No, no, it's so scary. No, game, it is actually just so scary. Why? Why am I- why do I have to deal with this? Oh god, oh, the hatchers ain't shit, bro. I don't even care about them. They, they ain't nothing. Let's just- let's just kill them. Oh, there's so many. Give me- give me your rewards. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't like it at all. Why can they jump so far? <laughs> oh! Oh, there's just like one more fly that just hit me in the face. Okay. I am now disoriented and I don't know which way I'm going, so let's go this way. We'll just pick a direction and say fuck it. Oh. Where are we on the map, actually? Oh. Okay. Well, even if we like jump off the cliff, we have our parachutes, so we should be fine to just, um, say screw it, right? I don't know. I want to keep exploring up in this mountain, though. I feel like if we just kind of like take a natural path here, we should find... Maybe one or two more hard drives, hopefully. All the while picking up some pale berries. I do see a blue power slug that we could go for. And you know, being up here on the high ground actually gives us a good opportunity when we get a chance to look around, maybe to find some hard drives just, you know, from from height. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, hogs. It's hog time. Reload. And then murder. And Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. I hit a plant. It's fine. We're just going to run away. I'm just going to run away. It's getting really dark now. It's getting dark and I cannot see. I'm getting somehow more blind. I was already cursed to be a Korean with poor eyesight. And now... Now we can barely see because it's all dark out. Thank you, Jesus, for cursing me. <laughs> and that's why I don't believe in God or re religion. I try not to bring up a lot of personal thoughts that aren't about the game in this let's play and i try not to bring politics into you know most of the conversations that i have but i was raised christian and i you know i was raised to think that jesus is real and that he loves us and then i thought one day like but why would god give children bone cancer and then i just stopped believing because it, did, it didn't make any sense and then the more you looked into it the more the more i looked into things the more holes that i found and you know like i, I could bring up conversation points about religion all day reasons why i don't believe but religious people they'll they will find a reason they'll find a way to make it seem like your cut your argument is stupid but then like i have just as many for them so the conversation just goes in an endless circle and i feel like debating this stuff is just in itself kind of dumb so I just say, like, let people think what they want. Let people believe what they want. You know, you're, it's, you're entitled to your own opinion, but you're not entitled to control others' opinions. Oh, nice. Got the sick two-for-one there. I wasn't even thinking because I was lining up my shot. Like, I wasn't saying words, but that was nice. And then I got the, I got the third friend, too. Okay, I did see a hard drive somewhere in this direction, I think. Ah, here we are. Oh, lots of wire. Yeah, let, let's fill out our wire. Oh. <laughs> we got too much stuff. Let's throw away the grass. Yeah, fuck you, grass. Circuit boards. Uh, we got some screws. Oh, God. Now we're out of space again. Well, let's use the thing that we need to open up the thing. Oh, it only needs power. 25 megawatts. So all we need is one biomass burner. So we just set this up to the thing. Hook it up like that. Oh, nice, we got biofuel, too. Gimme, gimme, gimme! That's three! And then we just delete that so we don't waste biofuel. Nice. Modular frames? We don't have any space for them, okay. Oh, shit! Oh! Just land, land with the parachute. No, god, land, okay. 
Oh, oh, the circuit boards. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's throw out, like, this stack of... Oh, this one cable? Thank you, I guess. Let's throw that away. Jesus. We have quite the view from here. You can see the lights in the northern forest and the trees. I wish that, like, the game would show you all of the obtained, um hard drives already so that you didn't have to just remember them but i guess we could put like a marker down for each one like right here Ugh. we'll just zoom in put a new map marker down right here and we'll call this uh crash site and then we'll call that obtained and if we find one that we can't get then we'll do unobtained and we'll make it so that the view distance is off, so that we can only see it when we look at the map, but not like on our on our compass. Or you know what? We'll, we'll actually we'll put it on so that you can see it when we're near it. Yeah, that that'll work. And I guess we'll change the icon to be uh like maybe a thumbs up because it's a good thing. Yeah, we'll make we'll make the image for these thumbs ups. There's just gonna be a lot a lot of uh, a lot of up thumbs on the map. All right, now where are we going? Why don't we go down the mountain and go... Oh god, it's the giant manta thing. Oh god. I don't like how it like rumbles the earth. You can just hear it like... Like, like shaking the air. Oh, I don't, I don't love that. Oh, I don't love that. We gotta choose where we're going though. I guess we'll just land over here. Oh, we can pick up the power slug too. Oh, can I make that jump? Maybe with like a slide jump. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Come to Papa. What do we not need? I mean, we don't need the summer sloop, but we're gonna collect them for later because I feel like we should. Let's dump some of these screws and like some rods. There we go. Uh, there's an explosive thing over there, which I think has a yellow slug. I think that was like a yellow little spark. Yeah, that's a yellow slug for sure. I see ya, buddy. If I could just, oh. Can I interact with it, please? Nice. Nice. Now your light has been snuffed out of the world, and that is... <laughs> dark. But you know, it's a slug. It doesn't have a brain anyways. I don't care what it thinks about me. Oh no, a wild, a wild bean boy in the darkness. I don't like that. There's a power slug, though. But then we'd be putting ourselves back on the ground level. I mean, it's a climb our way upwards, and I wouldn't want that right now. Not in the darkness, at least. Okay, so on the map, we're kind of like in the top right corner now. We should be getting close to the sandy desert over here in this direction. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot we could zoom out. Yeah, no, this is only like half the map. There's a lot more on this side, too. But like I keep saying, the map, this world is way, way bigger than what we've explored so far. Ooh, where are we now? It's very pretty here. Oh, look at the sky, though. Look, look, look at the look at the sun rising in the west. Man. This is why we game. This this is why we play video games. For beautiful moments like this. That just looks <laughs> insane. It's like I I can I don't have words to describe. Oh goodness. Yeah, this is a, a thermal geyser. A, a, impure. We'll get into what those do later. The guys are just like erupted in my ear and I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, chill. A little tip for exploring is like if you're from like a high vantage point, you can actually press P to go into photo mode. And then like zoom in and see things way off in the distance. Especially when you're doing crash site searching like this. This could be very helpful for you. Because you can zoom in quite a lot. Way, way off in the distance. And you can see things that you would not be able to with your regular view. Oh, oh, look at this section of the map. We haven't even explored this yet. Whoa. Yeah, I don't know what to call this, but this is just like what I would refer to as like the canyon. We just have like a canyon down there, like a little, little river with a bunch of these, I don't know, sloped paths. That, I don't know how you'd make a cool looking factory with this, but it's probably not too hard. Just gotta think outside the box, you know? And this is right over here on the maps. Like, kind of like in the middle. If I feel like this is the middle, right? 
if it extends out that way and that way. So it's kind of like up in the middle, maybe like a little bit upper, maybe the upper quadrant, the northern hemisphere. I can use <laughs> words. And then over there, you can actually see the dune desert, where it's all orange and deserty. Oh, just jumping over to the other side, like a gamer. And maybe we'll be able to find some crash sites from here. I'm gonna enter photo mode and let's see what I can see. Nope, no crash sites, far as the eye can see. At least not from this angle. And you know, I never even took into account, maybe I'm just blind. Maybe I'm just not seeing it. Look at those hatch responders down there. I hate those guys. Oh, 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 right there. Right there is our, is, uh, yeah, it's my boy. That's my target. What, what are those two like little red dots? Oh, it's a pale berry bush that isn't loading properly. And as you can see, my hand looks freaking weird with the map zoomed in this much. And as we zoom out, things get all normal again. I don't know why that works the way that that does, but yeah, clearly the photo mode has issues. And is that a purple slug? That is a purpley boy. I'm torn between a rock and a purple slug. I mean, they just put the purpley slug right in my face. What am I supposed to do? I have this parachute and all, and that's lower ground. I could easily just go from here to there. I think, honestly, it'd be irresponsible of me not to go for the purple slug. Huh! We're jumping the canyon, baby! We're activating the parachute very early because we want to make this for sure. Faux show. But it was just right in there. And we, got, we just gotta remember, it's like on one of those spires over there. Oh. Hello there, friend. Let's go over here. It's like the corner and just prepare for combat in the corner because it's probably going to be something guarding this. Hatchers on the ceiling. Okay. Not exactly coming at me with your best. And there's definitely a lot worse. <laughs> like the giant jumping spider. That's, that's worse. What is happening with that explosive? <laughs> that explosive was, um, not having it. He was not happy. Oh, I don't think we can finesse it and just, like, grab it and go before the hatcher starts spawning dudes. I don't think the little flies actually have names. I think, you know, the hatcher is called the hatcher spawner. But I don't think the flies themselves are called anything. But anyways, that's a purple slug. Now we're going to go around here. Kill the big tendrily boy. Hey, friend. Oh, oh, I missed. Okay. I said, hey friend. Ouchies. Ouchies. Did that hurt you at all? Oh, oh, we got him. Okay. You're not, you're not so big. Hey. Another, an oh. Ow. Are you a big boy? Oh, he is a big boy. Oh god, oh god. Or is he a small boy? I don't even know. There's lots of boys and they're big and small. And then try to make our way back to where that thing was. Uh, up, 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 up we go. Uh, slide jump, parachute, parachute. Nice, nice. We want to make it onto here. And then it's somewhere out here. I hear a power slug near me. Where's the power slug? Oh, there it is. I didn't even mean for this, but you know what? We take those. Can we go into photo mode and see it from here? I mean, thanks not. We could go over there and explore the desert, though. I want the hard drive. <laughs> I know where the hard drive is, and I want. So we're going to try to climb this mountain using uh, foundations and stuff. And can I get on here, please? Oh, nice. Oh, the parachute was goaded for that. Oh, big plant walking over here. Oh, there's a yellow slug. Oh, gosh. But oh, there's more spitters. Okay. Okay, nice. And then, then your friend. Oh, shit. Oh, no, don't walk right into his line of fire. Okay, pick up the remains, and then collect our reward. We, we got rid of the tree it's on. It didn't fall somehow. Probably because it's just a JPEG loaded into the world as we discovered in our last journey. Oh, my God. There's so much to explore up here, like, at the top side of the world. I, oh, my Lord. All of that. All of There's got to be a hard drive somewhere over here. Should we keep trying to go for this one, though? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh! Why did- there's like a glowing- There's like a glowing thing in the rock. I love that for it. I hear a power slug. 
It is bothering me that I can't see it. I think it's beneath me or above me. Probably up there on that pretty platform. There's a little river down there. And a bean boy! They just haunt me endlessly. Anyways, we're heading over here to the poison area. Oh shit, I fell off the thing. <laughs> we're going where the wind takes me. Oh, is that a yellow slug? It's, can the wind take me to that yellow slug? Oh, nice. Oh, this is huge. This is literally huge. Oh, I'm vibing. Ooh. Ooh. Very, very, very nice looking area over here. Nice? You see, you see what I mean? All my descriptive words just exit my brain when I'm recording. Damn. Imagine building a factory around this beautiful scenery. It's like, it's like mushrooms and rocks, you know, hybrid plantations. Plantations? That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Fauna. It's like mushrooms and rocks and... It's all jungly out here. It looks very cool. Hard drive potentially? Oh. Oh goodness. I need to watch where I'm stepping. Oh, yellow power slug. Wait. I meant that one, but also what? There's one just right in front of me too? Okay, we take these. No, game, I said we take these. I don't want the leaves, I want the I want the yellow the yellow boy. Give me the yellow boy. Thank you. But there's also that one over there. Let's get our weapons ready. We go! Ugh. What it's just floating there. Did we like blow up a tree around here and not collect it? Probably. No, zoop that way. <laughs> cheat that way, cheat that way! Let's get rid of this monstrosity. This metallic thing that's not natural to the world. And hop back over here. Oh, there's another yellow slug, bro. I'm just in yellow slug Ville. Land. Plaza? People have questioned this waterfall since like the dawn of the game's existence and like why it is how it is. It just doesn't logically make sense. And like I get it, but it is cool looking. I want another hard drive, dang it. We're so far from home now. I want like one more to call this mission success. In fact, here, let's bring out a ma'am and just start scanning the first one so that by the time we go back to base, we'll have one already done. So far, we have 12, 14, 19 slugs in this journey, so we're effectively doubling our current power shard count. I don't know why I said effectively, we're just literally doubling it, but you know what I mean. Oh, crash site. <laughs> Make yourselves known to me. We're gonna go, uh, this way. Wait, is that the remnants of a crash site? Or is that just a rock? Am I high? It was just a rock. Okay, well then, clearly I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's just try to go find something somewhere. Maybe on this section of the planet. Another bean boy down there laughing at me, being all rude. Don't love his tone. Lots of slugs that I'm noticing all over the place. Lots of enemies that want to kill me. Let's, let's head over to this like deserty area. Oh, oh, there's a crash site. Bro, we found one. <laughs> I think after this one, we're gonna go home. Wait, this video is already over an hour? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, 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 hello, friend. I wasn't prepared for you, but now I am. Whoa, whoa, rapid fire. Little, little cheating dude. He's, oh, he's, he's, bro, he's the king of that, of that thing. He's the king of the thing. Is he stuck? Oh, Jesus, he's noticed me now. Oh, he doesn't like me now. Ah, oh, Jesus, okay. <laughs> he just stood on top of that thing and was like, I am the best. Uh, nice. Let me get out my boombox. Nope. Play music. Blow people up. That's how we do We play music and we blow people up. Uh, at least until I can get over there and deal some damage to it. Nice, just insta-kill. Uh, 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 before it spawns again. I go back to the boombox and turn the music off. Thank you, thank you for your service. Oh, here's the drop pod part. That's just like the crash part of it. What do we need? One rotor and 10 megawatts? Oh, bet. Got the biomass burner. Got your thing. And the biofuel. Come to me. Battery broken, needs 10 megawatts. I gave it the power it needed. What, what? What? 
Uh, okay, uh, weird, but we got it eventually to work, so that's cool. Wait, didn't we already have three? Wait, wait a minute. Did I drag- I dragged that into the thing, right? I didn't delete it, did I? There, you mean you can't get these back, I don't think. Did we have two or three? In the editing, I will I will uncover the truth. And satisfactory devs, you may owe me a hard drive. I guess we'll see though. Anyways, I guess we should just start going home. We're probably gonna run into a more hard drives, like more crash ships on the way, since we're just so far out in the world now. Gonna try to run past all the enemies we see, only stopping if we get a hard drive. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, I know exactly where we are now, because this is that coal miner that we're using way over here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah, well, hold on. I mean, while we're here, while I know that we're at, I, I feel like I know where a couple of hard drives are. Well, you know, I guess we got that one on the side of the mountain right there. So that's that's one of them that I knew where it was at. Oh. Oh, God, don't scare me like that, Bean Boy. Oh. Here we are on our uh, quartz builds. Nice. That was the one we were just at, right? Or was that a different one? I feel like we were just at this one. Yes, yes, we just got that job on. Okay. Still waiting for this number to change into a four. I'm like 90% certain we had three already. Oh, breakable rock for, I think, a yellow slug. Yes, sir. Oh, oh. Wait, what's trying to kill me? Oh, that thing. Okay. No, come back. Come this way. Friend. Come th Friend. Oh, God. There's so many rock pieces in the way. Oh, okay. Threw them way past. Not good. That's right, ain't nothing you can do once I got it on ya. They're sticky TNT. Thankies. Get out of here! We're using one of these on you! <laughs> Go away! God, they just torment me constantly, just laughing. Right, so there was the one right there, the one over on the thing. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Is there not one, like, just kind of up there? Like, over there, at that part of the mountain? I, I kind of forget. Lots of poison stuff over here. Big body of water to use in the future. Oh, and an alpha hog just defending the area, because why not? Hey, friend. <laughs> Honestly, just spam clicking it is so much better. Oh. Okay, he got stunned, but not killed. But, I think that's... That'll do it. No, okay, you know what? One more. Ugh! Yeah, you may have jabbed me with your horn, but I exploded you... a lot. And you're dead. No hard drive, no hard drive. Oh, I forgot to mark the last one, too. Frick. Frick frack. What's up here? Oh. Oh. Oh, god. Hatcher spawners, no. No, thank you. Give me a crash ship somewhere, jeez. Okay, where? Where, game? Where? Wait. Wait, 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 oh. Oh. I asked and the game delivered. The game answered. We go. We ride off into the sunset. I know it's midday right now. Probably close to noon, but we ride into the sunset. We have arrived, my friends. Oh, more spitters. A lot of spitters in this episode. Oh, and our hard drive research just got completed. Let's go. Love that for me. Oh, these guys have, like, ice attacks. Or... At the very least, they're blue. <laughs> they, they have blue attacks. Like, uh, like Papyrus. Oh. All we need here is some nine modular frames and... Uh, come to daddy. Thank yous. That time it updated successfully, I'm probably just, like, being passive-aggressive for no reason. Like, it probably worked and I just forgot. Those weren't computers. <laughs> like, I just forgot how many hard drives I had, but it felt like I had three. Spiritually, I was giving that I had three. Well, we're just gonna fly this way, because I feel like we're... There's lots of open land here, so they just... We gotta find some more, some more crash ships this way. And luckily I know this area quite a bit better than the areas that we've been so far, since it is mostly just like open... ground, if you will. So, even if we get like, somewhat deep into this part, I'll be able to find my way back. <laughs> and, you know, we have a map and a compass system anyways, so it's not like it's hard. But, I'll feel more confident, okay? We made it back to base? Oh, oh, I, what the... Wait a minute. 
Wait, our base is over here? So if we just go around there... Yeah, so if we just go around here, go in like a little a clockwise motion, and then we walk that direction, and then we go up the mountain over there. Okay, okay. So I know where this, this base is in relation to my main save now, which means that I kind of know the area a lot better. That doesn't mean I know where, where crashed ships are, though. And oh, there's literally one right here. We've been so close to one this whole time, and we just never went for it. Weird. Weird and scuffed. What the heck? Me? Uh. No, get the flyboys. Oh, we got the hatcher, but not the flyboys. Die. Okay. Let's get the hatchers first. Ow. Oh, God. Oh, goodness. I'm just killing myself here. Get him. Nice. Okay. No. Stop. Now let's get the boombox. Boombox, I need you. I need your powerful music. Oh, boom. Ah, boom. Okay. Jeez. More circuit boards, yay. And here is the pod. It just needs one biomass burner's worth of power, which we can supply. What? There we go. I guess it needed time to, like, start up, and that's what happened last time, too. Five hard drives, yay! Let me get the carcasses. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. The circuit boards. Okay, and since we somehow went full circle all the way back to our base, I think we're gonna call that an adventure. Yeah, that's our that's our successful little journey. We got five hard drives, which I think should be six, but I guess the editing will tell. We've obtained like 60 animal carcasses, which is pretty neat. Got a summer sloop, like 50 nuts, 12 bacon, and 30-ish berries. And our total power shard count after, you know, slug conversion is, what is that, 14, 16, 21 slugs. So 21 power shards, so we're gonna get 40. Why is the music just kicking in all of a sudden really loud? I don't know. Maybe the music is louder because I'm not near any, like, the factory. I don't know. It's just deciding to play like this. I don't even have the boombox on. Oh no, it is the boombox. I didn't realize that that was just like the boombox. Okay. And I know that a lot of this episode has been exploring, so why don't we go and convert the power slugs and put everything away, and then see what we can do. Oh, also really quick, let's get this alternate recipe. What? Why is one of the alternate recipes just six more inventory slots? Plastic smart plating? What? This just requires plastic, one rotor, and a- This is terrible! It's taking a recipe that doesn't require oil and adding adding oil to the process. That's just that's so bad. Polymer resin. Uh oh. So we can actually just take oil and directly create polymer resin now and we'll get heavy oil residue as a byproduct. I don't know how I feel about this one. Aren't I using this one on my main No, I'm not am I? No, I am using this on my main save. Yeah, I feel like this one's kinda useful. I don't know. I kinda want the inventory slots, but we'll get it eventually, right? I get the polymer resin for now. And scan the other one. Oh, we saw five more. Oh, wait, is my is my count wrong? Oh, it's because I already scanned the thing. I'm silly. I'm a silly. I know everybody in the comments is just screaming at me, but trust me, when you're in the middle of uh fighting for your life in the wild, you don't you don't use your brain sometimes. And that is all of our power slugs converted. Yay, 40 shards. Looking a lot better now. Now we just convert all of our animal things into Protein, I suppose. What's the difference between hog and hatcher and like all the different kinds of protein? I mean, it, at the end of the day, it all just becomes alien protein. I don't know what the difference is if we should like store them as their individual like remains or if we should just just turn them all into protein. Man, yeah, let's put some stuff away. Oh, we're not storing summer sloops in here? Weird. Weird and scuffed. Let's get all of our corpses though. S -s summer sloops? Summer sloops? I don't know how you want to pr pronounce that. I don't think we need, like, necessarily, you know, just eight, or no, 40 biomass. Oh, I think eight. <laughs> I think I was thinking of the mycelia number. We can easily make 40 biomass again, so why don't we just throw that away and make more space for other stuff? Like, summer soups, because we're also holding the mercer spheres, but we don't have any sloopy boys? Weird. Weird and scuffed. Okay, I think that's most of our depositing. I'd just like to put the alien protein somewhere. And let's get rid of these flower petals. We don't need three full stacks of flower petals. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna do about about 
hard drive stuff. I mean, I don't want to leave this recording on for another like 47 minutes just so I can get five alternate recipes. I think what I'll do is I'll end the episode here. Yes, I know, sad. My, my content has to end for today. Everybody, it's crying time, everybody. It's time to cry. But what I will do is that throughout the next episode, I'll just like load one in at the start. Yeah, you know, before I even start the thing, we can basically start off by opening one and then we can just keep going. And, you know, off screen, I'll just keep putting them in there. And uh, yeah, we'll just get them all dealt with throughout the next episode. But anyways, that's it for this one. I mean, yeah, we didn't get a lot of factory progress done. In fact, you know, zero. But also, why did I sell this wall up? <laughs> I just have like a pointless wall up for like... Cause, you know, I, I plan to make this like a bigger building. I think I gotta redo the whole thing and make this taller so that it can actually fit refineries. You know, like a couple, maybe like two things higher up. Because if you put the refinery down there, it just, it needs more, it just needs more space. But yeah, like I said, we've already had a journey episode, so you know how it goes. We didn't make factory progress, but we made internal progress. And with that said, I think I have been Arara. I appreciate everybody who watches, including all my, apparently my Russian and then Bulgarian viewers. And I'll see you in the next one where we will, uh, like do stuff with the alternate recipes. I don't know if we're necessarily going to get anything to make computers easier, but I feel like computers have at least one better recipe than the base. It's either that or computers have like a bunch of really shit recipes that aren't useful at all. Because there, there is one item in the game, I think. It might be computers, where like every every alternate recipe for it is just way, way worse than the base. But I think in the case of computers, it's actually like a... It's like a balance, you know? Some people will use one alternate recipe for like half the resources that they're using to, to build the, with that recipe. And then they'll use another recipe, I think just like the base, to use different materials because they don't want to just use all the same materials for one recipe. And I think technically that's more efficient. I don't know. We'll get into all of that when we unlock the recipes and I'll talk about, you know, the logistics of which one's better uh, when that happens. <laughs> I've been trying to end this episode for what seems like forever now. So yeah, goodbye everyone. Have a good one. See ya.